Hi, my name is Eric Solon, and welcome to What Does It Take? We have a fantastic show tonight featuring one of the hottest DJs in Los Angeles, Freddie Baby Gallardo of KLSX. He will be here. Also, a little later on on our show, we will have the president of Canon Records, um, Mr. Hai Rahahi, and we are introducing two acts this week. Um, Gerard Martinez, a singer-songwriter, and we have a band out of Orange County, September Song. They will be doing one of their original tunes. Also, we want to thank our guests last week, uh, Tony Scott Jenkins of K-Surf Radio, and also Mike Appel, who discovered Bruce Springsteen. So please keep writing in, and I want you to stay with us as we find out together, what does it take? Hi. Let me tell you today, our first guest is Freddie Baby Gallardo of KLSX. He's with us today on What Does It Take? And Freddie, welcome to the show. Thank Good you, Eric. To see you. It's nice Good to be to here. I um, wanted to ask you um, about how is the, um, what do you say, the radio world, uh, the DJ life, how is it going nowadays? Well, the, for me right now, I'm, uh, I'm at the height of my career. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in it for about 20 years, and uh -huh. uh, it isn't always like that. Uh, but f right now, today, uh, things are going very well. The station, uh, uh, LA's only classic rock, is, is uh, a, a winner right now. It's a unique type of format that we're doing. So my timing just happens to be uh, very good right now. Are you comfortable there? Absolutely. The, um, uh, the format that the station right. does mm -hmm is something that I was a part of many, many years ago when uh, the artist, uh, for example, like Elton John, the Rolling Stones, and uh, Led Zeppelin, when they first came and when they were debuting their music, uh -huh. I was a part of that. Wow. So I have lived all the music since then. So it's, it's a real treat for me now to be able to play these artists at this point. Well, let me ask you for the... Um for the um, soon-to-be DJs coming up in the world, would you suggest that's a good way to go to get into being a, um, a disc jockey, and especially in a big city like Los Angeles? Uh, you mean as far as the type of music that we play? You no, know, as becoming a DJ per se, you know, to climb the ropes of success. It's a, it's a very difficult mm -hmm. thing to do. Um, generally speaking, the uh, new person to the business does not come into Los Angeles or any metropolis, mm -hmm. uh, most of the time the, uh, that student right out of school will need to go to a smaller market. Uh, sometimes they get lucky. I had uh, the good fortune of being in the business three months after I was out of school oh, wow. and I was working at KLOS here in Los Angeles. Oh, that's 95.5? That's, um, 95 and a half, right. Ah. But it doesn't... Um, it doesn't always work that way. It's a very difficult business. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I recommend to uh, people who are wanting to get into the business mm -hmm. is to A, not yeah. worry about money. Let your, uh, your guidance be your craft. I see. And if you can do that and dedicate yourself to your art, then you stand a chance. But uh, generally speaking, people right, right out of school will say something like, well, I, I want to make this much money when I start out, or I want to be like so-and-so. It doesn't work that way. You know that no, after being right. in this business. It's very difficult. And if I had it to do over again, I would do it this way. But my background goes back to my father. My father was a disc jockey. He was. Yeah. Where, where and what? Um, All over um, California. Really? So I, I grew up uh, mm -hmm. seeing this, and I never had any desire to do anything else. Great. Well, let me ask you this. How did you find um, being a DJ? Did it give you more, um, um, did it open up more doors for you for opportunities? Like, what are you doing now? Absolutely. What does that take? What's happened to me now is that uh, as a result of getting my name exposed uh -huh. and creating, by the way, uh, a Freddie Baby Gallardo uh, image for mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know which camera, but the... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, the, That's beautiful. The, what the radio business has done for me is it's giving me the exposure now mm -hmm. to move on to uh, television commercials. That's excellent. Is uh, this for me? Yes. Oh, I want to thank you. I, I really want to thank you. That's okay. We'll My talk pleasure. This is great. Isn't this great? 
from um, K KLSX. LA's only classic. LA's only classic rock. Um, let me ask you um, about your family life. How is your wife? How is um, you know the family activities coming along? What's well, it? it's uh, really important for somebody in our business mm -hmm. to uh, to have uh, a support. I see as in a good wife and fortunately for me I've been with my wife for 18 years God now bless you. and I have three gorgeous daughters great uh, known on my radio program as the Fredettes ah uh, I love it I love <laughs> yeah. it let so. me ask you this um, what else are you doing um, Freddie I understand you're doing some commercials and you have some national TV national commercials running yeah what do you have going well <clears throat> I uh, just finished the movie Salsa oh I uh, did uh, the trailers uh, for all over the world for that, including the Spanish. I do a lot of Spanish commercials. That's fantastic. And uh, I act as the ambassador for most of the uh, events, whether they be athletic, uh, charity organizations. Well, you do do a lot of events. Absolutely. Like I, what? Uh, volleyball tournaments, uh, yeah. cycling. I've raced in two Ocean Spray Criterion bicycle races. I have another Great. one coming up in Mexico. Uh, there's the Michelin uh, Series Challenge at the Forum on August the 4th, ah. and I'm going to play in that as well. tickets from that. <laughs> what about tennis? I'm uh, an avid tennis player and uh, a certified racquetball instructor, so uh, f working four hours a day allows me to play all during the day. I have all my toys. Great. Well, let me tell you, Fred, I'm really, I'm really glad you came down. You shared some of your experiences with us. And on, I want everybody to listen to KLSX. I'm on from uh, 10 to 2, Monday to through 2. Friday, right? Great. And great. Album Archives is done every night at midnight. Okay. Well, excellent. And I want you to come back and see me again, Freddie. And God bless the family. Thank and we'll you. We'll see Eric. you soon. Bye bye. We'll be right back. Hi. Welcome back to What Does It Take? I want you to remember to send in your tape, send me a picture, because if you'd like to be on our show, a show that we care about you, What Does It Take? then send in those tapes to What Does It Take, American Cable, 13325 Beach Avenue, Marina Del Rey, 90292. And send them in right away. Uh, with me, I have Gerard Martinez. He's a singer-songwriter. How you doing? Today? Pretty good. Good to Real see you. I'm glad you came to What mm -hmm. Does It Take. Um, let me ask you, um, are you finding out what does it take to get into business? <laughs> For... Uh I've been at it for about maybe 12 years now. 12 years, <laughs> and you're a singer-songwriter. Singer-songwriter. And um, what have you been doing with your career, Gerard? Well, I've geared a lot of my career towards the poor, uh, working uh, with children. Charities? Charities, uh, peace, peace stuff. Oh, peace functions? Yeah, a lot of stuff like that. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's great. And um, you're an um, accomplished musician. Mm -hmm. uh, you play um, keyboards. Keyboards. Anything else? A little that's guitar. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah, you do singing. Well, that's good. You from La Habra? La Habra, California. I see. In Orange County. Oh, well, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. What? Tell me, what is the song you're going to do for us? Well, I wrote today? the song. Uh, I recently got married. Mm -hmm. God bless. Four you. months. Four great. months ago, and I wrote it. It's called "I Must Be in Love with You." Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, you must be if you got married. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to have Gerard Martinez playing "I Must Be in Love with You." Gerard Martinez singing, I must be in love with you.
That was fantastic. Thank Excellent. You. Gerard Martinez. So good. I'd like you to do another song. Okay. Could you stay and do one more song sure, for us? Will, yeah. What are you going to do for us? It's a song uh, called Ganas. In Spanish, it means desire. It's Ganas it means desire in desire. Spanish. Yeah. On what does it take? Gerard Martinez. Fantastic. Thank Excellent. You. That is um, Gerard Martinez and his bass companies. What's your name, sir? Dominic. Dominic. Dominic what? Cardino. Dominic Cardino. Doing an original. Is it called Gondis? Ganas. Ganas. Desire. We'll be right back. Hi. Welcome back to What Does It Take? And I'm here with a fantastic band from Orange County. September song, and we're going to introduce the band and find out a little bit more what it takes to put a band like this together, their goals. Well, let's get started right now. How you doing? Very good. How are you? All right. What's your name? Harris Bell. Harris, um, tell me a little bit about the band here. What have you guys been doing, and how old is the band now? Uh, the band's about almost half a year, and um, we've been doing really good. We're starting to play some shows around mm -hmm. Hollywood. Great. Great, great. So you feel real good about it. I see that um, the band is all original material? Yeah, yeah. That's great, that's great. Now, I want to get some names here. Who am I talking to here? Hi, I'm Frank. Frank, Frank what? Frank Jacobitis. Frank Jacobitis. That's a rough one, but I got it right. Uh, Frank, um, you play lead and rhythm? Lead and rhythm, yeah. That's great. Um, what, what do we have here? Fender? Fender Stratocaster, yeah. It's one of my favorite guitars. I like playing it, get a good sound out of it, so I like it a lot. That sounds good, I'll bet. We're going to hear that. And let me find out a little bit. Well, I'm going to hold back on the drummer yet. I might fall over on those drums. Who are we talking to here? Well, this is Mike Husted. Play bass. Yeah, Mike? Uh, me, and, me and Harris here used to play in a band together a mm -hmm. while back. And, uh, Do you remember the name of the band? Our old band? Yeah. Um, Western, Western Doorway. Yeah. <laughs> Western Doorway. Do you believe that? Well, that's fantastic. You guys, I'm glad you came down tonight. Um, who are some of your influences in the music scene? Um, some of my personal influences are David Sylvian. He's a bass player. Or, um, and you um, too. You too. Excellent. Excellent. They're doing very well. As far as the whole band is concerned, our basic influences are the Smiths, R.E.M., uh -huh. that type of progressive uh -huh. rock type style. That's great. Well, glad to see you. And what does it take? Let me um, sneak a little back here to see the drummer here. I know he's hiding behind here, but you know, drummers are all temperamental anyway. How you doing? Oh. 
What's your name? Vince Cangelosi. Vince, how long have you been playing drums? Oh, long time, since about fifth or sixth grade. Got started pretty early. Mm -hmm. I see you playing there, uh, Slang Lens? Uh, Thomas. Thomas, my favorite drums. <laughs> they really are. I wanted to ask you, um, how long have you been playing drums? Uh, God, I guess it be about four years, five years now. Oh, really? Sounds great. Let me ask the band overall, what is your uh, music goal for the band? Do you foresee in the future coming up? I know you're going to be playing in Hollywood. What do you...